spoke to Hasina Begum, who was studying for her PhD about scientific models and the study of aerogels in vibroacoustic applications. Hello, Hasina. What have you been up to in the last year? Um, so since we last spoke, I completed my uh, PhD at the University of Sheffield. Um, since then, I was able to look at um, new aerogel technologies used in the form of uh, composites. Um, I've discovered that the, the models that I used uh, during my PhD um, were good. However, um, that more research is required um, in looking at the hierarchical structure of materials. Um, so this is something that we discovered and we realized we need a, a better model um, to use in our validation process. Um, in terms of the materials, aerogels themselves are quite fragile and um, are, um, they don't have very good mechanical uh, stability. So we're looking at using uh, new processes to measure those mechanical properties like strain and modulus. And I looked at um, using them in different uh, physical forms, so in granular, monolithic and powder forms, um, and applied them to different applications like um, buildings and pipes. Um, from then, I, uh, I stayed on as a visiting academic at Sheffield, and um, I ended up working for a, a company in fiber optics where um, so it was still it was it was still in acoustics. So I um, looked at implementing uh, optical fibers in pipes and looking at the, the strain and how we can measure uh, water flow and turbulence. Um, and then from then, I. Um, I actually realized that I didn't like working in industry so much. So um, I um, decided to apply for a fellowship. Um, so I applied for the Marie Curie Fellowship, um, which was in Switzerland. And I'll find out the outcome of that in six months time. Um, but I've actually been offered a job at Warwick University looking at composites and automotive. So slightly different. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to starting there. I'll be starting there in a few weeks. Um, and I'm excited to um, use my current understanding um, of, of acoustics and composites and, and try and implement that into a new application, which is automated now. Thanks, Asina.